Hey guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded, and today I'll be showing you some must-know principles to developing your head movement. Now I get asked a lot on how I train my head movement. How do I read and see punches coming? What equipment do I use to train my head movement? How do I work the timing, reaction, the list goes on. Now this video is actually based off of my new head movement program, and in this program, you're gonna be learning everything you're about to see. This program is gonna be focused on drilling all head movement techniques with various patterns as well as live drills. You can find all the information you need in the description box below. The first thing you'll need to know is all the head movement techniques, such as slipping to the outside, slipping to the inside, leaning back, pulling back, bobbin weaving, crouching, and shoulder rolling. In my head movement program, you will learn and drill these techniques followed by several advanced head movement patterns and some fancier footwork so that you can dodge single punch strikes and a flurry of punch combinations respectively. As you can imagine, there are various patterns of head movement. Do you move your head right after moving it left or left after moving a right? When do you lean back instead of ducking under? The answer is, it depends on the situation and what your opponent throws at you. You will be instructed to do cooperative drilling of the most common combinations your opponents can throw at you, followed by live drilling with some limitation on what your partner can or cannot do in order to help you develop the eyes, reaction, timing, sensitivity, confidence, and skills to evade punches. Over time and tons of repetition, you will develop the skills to instinctually move your head where it needs to be using the best method of head movement. You will also be learning how to read punches, when you should use head movement, and how to mix blocking with head movement. Now, because I'm sure everyone will ask, are you scared of eating a head kick? Yes, there is definitely a risk in that, and I have been kicked in the head before, but I don't believe it is a reason to not use head movement. Something important you should remember is to not repeat the same head movement pattern over and over again, because that's when your opponent can adapt and catch you with a kick or a knee to the head. Next, you'll learn how to use head movement after punching. In other words, anticipating the counter. If both parties are in a neutral stance, they can both block if a punch is coming. Now during or after you throw a punch, that is when you are most open to being hit. So that's why you need to be ready to get out of the way. It is much faster to move your head than it is to retract your punching hand back to your face and then try to block the counter punch. In my head movement program, you will be drilling all the best options to move your head after punching. You will first learn how to evade single counter punches, followed by evading multiple punch counters. So you just gotta keep moving your head. Just kidding. In my program, you will be learning the appropriate head movement patterns. Sometimes it's about putting in the time and using your sensitivity and experience to read the counterpunch, then reacting to the counterpunch. And sometimes it's just exiting off with the head movement using muscle memory. It's no different than using muscle memory to bring your hands back to your face after punching. Of course, the same rule applies. Try to not repeat the same patterns over and over again, because that is when someone more skilled will adapt and catch you. However, this is also the case for anything. If you continuously repeat the same patterns of the jab, for example, your opponent can also adapt and expose you. Fortunately for you, I have tons of patterns for you to mix it up with. Next, you'll want to learn how to counter with head movement. We don't want to only be playing defensively with head movement, no matter how fun dodging a flurry of punches can be. What makes head movement so special is the advantages we get from countering with head movement. As I mentioned before, it is faster to dodge a counter punch after punching than it is to retract your punching hand to your face after punching and then blocking. The same principle applies here. It is faster and stronger to dodge and counter punch than it is to block your opponent's punch and then counter punch. We can use head movement and then counter punch, or we can use intercepting counters where we use head movement and strike at the same time. In my head movement program, you will learn head movement counters to straight punches and circular punches, as well as learn how to mix in blocking with head movement counters. Once you learn your head movement counters, you'll want to take it up to another level and learn how to dodge punches after you have countered your opponent's punch. Just because we countered our opponent's punch doesn't mean they can't still hit us after. We should always anticipate the counter. I know it sounds a bit confusing, but don't worry. In my new head movement program, you'll be instructed on exactly how to do just that and with various different patterns, followed by the proper live drills to help you get ready to apply it into your sparring. By now, you should know what are the most common counters, so you should start setting up traps and planning way ahead of your opponent. It is important to know and understand head movement counters, not only so that you can effectively use them, 
but so that you can see them coming and take your striking to the next level. In this part of the program, you'll be learning how to bait and counter your opponent's counter. It's just like a game of chess. Once you have put enough time into these drills included in my head movement program, you'll be able to read what counter punch is coming and react with the appropriate counter. This is where training becomes the most fun. As you can slowly start to see, this program is designed and formatted in a way that will help you slowly progress your head movement from basic to advanced. Next, you'll be learning how to dodge punches after kicking. This program isn't just head movement for boxers, but for Muay Thai and MMA fighters as well. They say in Thailand, when your opponent punches, you kick, and when your opponent kicks, you punch. So, as I mentioned earlier, we should always be anticipating the counter. In my head movement program, you'll be learning the most efficient head movement patterns combined with footwork to evade your opponent's counter punch or punches. Now, just like you'll learn how to counter punch with head movement, you will also be learning how to counter kick with head movement. In other words, how to intercept your opponent's punches with kicks while you simultaneously move your head. Again, these are called intercepting counters. And finally, you will also learn how to bait your opponent into trying to counter punch you, then evade with head movement and counter with your kicks. Once you develop the skills to manage your distance, read and react to punches through my head movement program, you will find it surprisingly easy to evade punches from someone who is untrained. Some of my most fun sparring sessions are from playing with head movement against very inexperienced opponents, my friends. You have to admit, this looks fun. If you want to develop the confidence to walk down the street and defend yourself against your average Joe with just head movement, you gotta give this program a shot. All you gotta do is click the link in the description box below and you'll find all the details you need or if you have any questions, just drop a comment below.